Our new release is iOS 15. First is a feature that makes FaceTime calls sound like you're sitting in the very same room. We're bringing spatial audio to FaceTime. Now your friends' voices are spread out to sound like they're coming from the direction in which they're positioned on the video call. When you're on a FaceTime call, your mic is picking up a cacophony of sound. So in voice isolation, machine learning distinguishes these sounds, blocks out the ambient noise, and prioritizes your voice. In wide spectrum, your mic picks up an entire symphony's worth of sound, your voice, and everything around you. When you want to see every face in the room, you can now turn on grid view. Here you see people in the same size tiles, and you'll be able to clearly identify who's speaking while seeing everyone else's reactions. Where we've taken inspiration from iPhone's stunning portrait photos. In FaceTime, portrait mode blurs the background and naturally puts the focus on you. Now you can generate a link for a FaceTime call and share it anywhere. Your friends with Android and Windows devices can use your FaceTime link to join the call right from their browser. SharePlay is a powerful new set of features for shared experiences that you can enjoy when you're on a FaceTime call. With SharePlay, you can bring that album right into the conversation. When you're on a call, all you need to do is press play in Apple Music, and you can choose to listen together. Everyone on the call can add songs to a shared queue, and shared playback controls let anyone press play, pause, or jump to the next track. When you're on a FaceTime call, jump to a streaming app and press play. And boom, you and your friends are watching the same video totally in sync. Maybe you want to order takeout while you watch. Picture in Picture lets you see your friends and the video you're enjoying together. And when the moment calls for a bigger screen, you can extend the video to your Apple TV and watch it there while sharing the moment with your friends over FaceTime on your iPhone. With an API built for easy adoption, developers can bring their own apps right into FaceTime. And today, we're so pleased to announce that we're already working with some incredible partners. Check out screen sharing. You can use it to browse Zillow listings live with your future roommates, or show off a tricky move in your favorite game, and it works across Apple devices. Next, when it comes to staying connected throughout the day, our go-to is messages. Look at this brand new collage design in this cool stack with even more photos from Taylor. I can quickly swipe through them, tap to view the full bunch, and even add a quick tap back, like this fun playlist from Leah and this mission-critical article from Casey about what type of pizza is best. The thing is, the time when I receive this great content is often different than when I'm ready to enjoy it. Let me show you something we designed just for that, called Shared With You. So now, if I head over to the News app, there's a new Shared With You section that conveniently surfaces that pizza article and a few from my other friends. Up top, it shows me who it's from. So now, if I want to check out that playlist Leah sent earlier, I can head over to Apple Music. And it's right here. Well, over in the Photos app, the new Shared With You section makes it super easy to get back to them. And what's really cool is they're automatically brought over to my library too. So if I scroll back to that Joshua Tree trip and drill in, you can see all the great photos my cousin sent are right here with the ones I took. So we have new tools to help you focus on what matters most. We're introducing the Notification Summary, a helpful collection of your notifications you can schedule to be delivered at any time you choose. We use on-device intelligence based on how you interact with your apps to arrange the summary so it's easy to quickly catch up. Notifications in the summary are ordered by priority with the most relevant ones rising to the top. Now, when you're using Do Not Disturb, your status is automatically displayed in messages. When you reach out to someone who's indicated they don't want to be disturbed, you'll be reminded in that moment. And for truly urgent messages, there's a way to get through. With focus, all you have to do is choose what you want to focus on. You can carve out time in your day for work or your personal life. When setting up a focus, we use on-device intelligence about your past activity to suggest apps and people to allow notifications from. So if you're at work, you could choose to only be notified by coworkers or apps like Mail, Calendar, or Slack. For your personal life, we'll suggest being notified only by friends and family or apps like Calm will even intelligently suggest using a focus based on your context, using different signals like location or time of day. And when you use a focus on one device, it automatically sets on all your other devices, live text. 
It starts with the camera. I can now just point the camera at the whiteboard, and an indicator appears here in the lower right. When I tap it, the text just jumps right out. I can use my normal text selection gestures, just drag and copy. Here's a photo of a friend. Now I can just select it like this, and I have the option to use a lookup to find out more about this restaurant and even look up its location. Now, you may notice here in the background is a phone number. I can just zoom in, and with live text, it's recognized with a link. I can just tap it and give this place a call. Live text works with photos across the entire system, including screenshots, quick look, and even photos on the web. And it understands seven languages, including simplified and traditional Chinese, and works across iPhone, iPad, and Mac. Just tap, and you can look up information like the breed of a dog, and this works for art, books, nature, pets, and landmarks. Spotlight is the universal place to start all of your searches. Now, with photo search in Spotlight, you can quickly find your photos right from the home screen. Spotlight leverages intelligence from the Photos app so you can search by people, scenes, elements in your photos, or location. We've also added all new rich results for contacts. You'll have quick access to call, text, FaceTime, or email them, and Spotlight intelligently includes everything related to them. And we've added all new rich results for actors, musicians, TV shows, and movies as well. With the Apple Wallet app, we set out to replace your physical wallet. And just recently, Walt Disney World added their park passes, creating magical moments as you tap to enter, ride, and explore. BMW and others will ship cars with UWB starting later this year. We're creating the fastest, most secure way to unlock your house, apartment, or flat. And where you work, just add your corporate badge and tap to enter your building or office. And where you travel, with hotel keys, you'll automatically receive your key when your room is ready. Hyatt Hotels will start rolling this out to over a thousand properties worldwide. This fall, you'll just scan your driver's license or state ID in participating U.S. states. It's that easy. Your ID information is now in Wallet. Encrypted and safely stored in the secure element, the same hardware technology that makes Apple Pay private and secure. And the TSA is working to enable airport security checkpoints as the first place you can use your digital ID. The Weather app is incredibly popular, and it's getting a huge update. With data and layouts that change based on conditions, such as wind and rain, unhealthy air quality, or sunny skies. We've also added new weather graphics to help users better understand conditions like wind, UV index, and barometric pressure and we've completely redesigned the gorgeous animated backgrounds. Built from the ground up, we've launched our new map so far in the US, UK, Ireland, and Canada, and we're excited to announce we're bringing the new map today to Spain and Portugal, and later this year, we'll add Italy and Australia. But in iOS 15, maps will offer incredible new details for commercial districts, marinas, buildings, and so much more. We've added things like elevation, new road colors and labels, as well as hundreds of custom design landmarks. And we built a beautiful new nighttime mode with a moonlit glow. We've added a great deal of new road details to the map so we can help drivers as they move throughout a city. This outstanding attention to detail, including the addition of crosswalks and bike lanes, will help drivers more safely navigate complex intersections. And when driving on highways, Maps now renders overlapping complex interchanges in three-dimensional space. And of course, we'll be bringing this driving experience to CarPlay later this year. We've also made big improvements for transit riders by helping them easily find nearby stations and even keep track on their Apple Watch so there's no need to take your phone out of your pocket. And if you've ever exited a station, unsure of which direction you need to go, Maps will help get you back on track. Simply hold up your iPhone, scan the buildings in the area, and Maps will generate a highly accurate position, delivering detailed directions and augmented reality to help you complete your journey. 